Joining me right now is presidential historian and former aide to both Presidents Bush 41 and 43, best-selling author Doug Weed. Doug, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Dagan. <laughs> wow. It's funny to look back at those sound bites and see past conventions. So what do you think? How does this convention compare to past conventions? Wow. I, uh, you know, what I keep seeing uh, on all the channels and all the coverage of the convention, uh, how history repeats itself. I, I see a candidate out there who's new, who's changing the party, who's a c collected more votes than any other candidate before him in the primary process and has turned that process on its head. Uh, who has his own money, and I see a former president boycotting the national convention, angry, uh, claiming the party is split down the middle, holding a press conference to denounce the prospective winner, and that contest was 1960, and the former president was Harry S. Truman, who held the press conference to attack John Kennedy and announce he was withdrawing as a delegate from Missouri and would not attend Los Angeles. But Harry Truman couldn't stop John F. Kennedy from becoming president. And I don't think George W. Bush or, or, or Governor John Kasich are going to stop Donald Trump if the American people want him. So these conventions, yeah. they're great memories, but they're about the future, not about the past. Let me ask you about, about um, Melania Trump's speech the other night. Much has been made about that speech and you know, uh, that it sounded, you know, so familiar to, to Michelle Obama's, but Michelle Obama's sounded very familiar to another speech before her time. So is it just sort of a protocol, or not protocol, but sort of a, what you would expect that people, you know, it's a, it's a similar uh, voice, it's a similar commentary that comes convention after convention. What, what's your take on, on that speech? Oh, uh, I think the issue of the speech is serious. Uh, uh, one concern I have in watching these conventions is how will they unite the success of James Baker in 1980. Uh, he brought all of the opponents, delegates, back to Washington and wined and dined them, healed the party. Lee Atwater did that in 1988, too. So I, I question a little bit the competency of uh, Paul Manafort in 1996. He didn't do that. It was kind of like if you opposed Bob Dole in 1996, hey, pal, you backed the wrong horse. Uh, s see you later. Uh, I hope this time that Manafort will learn from Baker and from Atwater and will bring all these opponent, opposition delegates, Cruz delegates, Rubio delegates back to Washington, unite the party. The follow-up is absolutely critical. So this misstep on the speech uh, was a little uh, unnerving to me, and I hope that they have a very disciplined shop and they'll chop some heads off here and <laughs> you, you don't get second chances. This is the major leagues. Uh, right. This is not grooming Good morning, new people. <laughs> sure. Morgan, go ahead. Morgan Good morning, Ortega. Doug. It's Morgan. Thank Hi, you. Hi, um, Morgan. As a historian, I'm curious. Hey, thank you. As a historian, I'm curious, what are the most effective speeches that the candidates give on the final night? And what does Donald Trump need to do on Thursday night to have a historic, memorable speech, in your opinion? Well, in my opinion, they they um, refashion their stump speech. A speech isn't really good unless it's been given 500 times. They they have to, if they try to invent something too new, uh, it may not work. Uh, they need to go back to that stump speech. They know the lines. They know how the audience will react. The audience has helped fashion that speech when they've given it in Kentucky and California the audience has pulled it out of them the audience has said ho hum when it was boring and they've cheered when it was exciting so I, I think if he goes with his instincts and he hauls out that stump speech with a few new lines that will make news because they're new lines I think that's the best formula has been in the past all right we will leave it there Doug good to see you thanks so much for your insights Thanks, Maria. Hi, Morgan. Thank you.